Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, uh, I agree that it isn't, uh, this is uh, what happened in Paris is not uh, really a constitutional crisis in the sense that it doesn't involve any difficult point of law. <laughs> Uh, what, is, what happened in Paris has happened in many other places. Uh, it's a national crisis. Uh, and you know what that national crisis is? When Arno loses power, or about to lose power, everything goes haywire. That is a national crisis. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to talk here about the law. Article 5, 6, 8 of the Paris Constitution and all that. I think these are the two things I have explained to you very clearly, and my friend has already explained uh, the provision about representative government and all that, the role of the monarch. I, thought, I want to talk to you about our national crisis. <coughs> now, this national crisis is this this is a government that, that has no respect for the law. And it's no respect for justice, for what is fair, and it's not even a shame to flout the law. <laughs> openly. Openly. But this government has, unfortunately for the Raya, has the support of the elite in the country. The elite means people in higher places. People who want to work higher. People who want to have more money. People who want to have more uh, permanent dependent. <laughs> These are the oligarchs that are supporting this regime. So you see, when the Prime Minister goes to a particular by election and says, Oh, you vote for me, I'll give you 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> He's breaking the law, but nobody is going to prosecute him. Nobody. You know? The Chinese came. Okay? You want some money for Monday? I give you three million, make sure. <laughs> <laughs> and last night in Cebu, the chief minister, I was in Cebu, that's why I look very tired. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I came from Cebu to come to Joe Baru, you know. <laughs> the chief minister said, okay, we cut down the the tariff, the rates for the town uh, buildings, the taxes in the town, for property taxes or property rates by 50%. They have it, which are happy. <laughs> now, this sort of open bribery is, of course, it is a law. It's a law. And you think these judges, these great judges of ours, <laughs> <laughs> you think they don't know the law? Of course they do. They know it's a stupid decision. They know. But because they want to go higher, and because they want to protect this regime. Do you think the election commission knows that they don't have the power to declare a vacancy? It's the speaker who declares that there is a vacancy in the state assembly. They know that. But why don't they do all these things? Why do the police, you know, I was giving a speech last night in Cebu. We were supposed to do it in a school, a Catholic school, and suddenly everything approved. At 6 o'clock or whatever, a few hours before that, we got a call. We can't use the school because the police won't allow it. Now, you think they don't know the law? They don't know this is an abuse. That is a fact. But why do they do this? Why do this elite, why do these people do all this nonsense, knowing that they are breaking not just the law, they are doing, they are being unfair to the right they do this for two reasons. <coughs> One is, of course, personal. You know, if I want to be Chief Justice, I of course have to be nice to the rulers, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> the rulers confirm my position. If I want to be from federal, from a uh, court of appeal, I want to go up to federal court, I want to be nice to the Chief Justice, and so on and so on. So there are personal reasons. If you are a police fellow, you want to succeed Musa, you also have to play ball. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So that's a personal reason. It's very unfortunate that we have this. But the more unfortunate thing is, it's not the personal reason. It's this mistaken belief by this elite 
based on some ideological or some political belief. They think that they are doing this for the right. They are doing this, they have entered into the arena of politics. Because these civil servants, these people in the public institutions, this judges, they think that, well, this is good for the people. This is good for the Malays. This is good for Islam. They have entered into the political arena. And this is the national disease that we have now. The day public institutions enter, get into the political fray, the day our judges don't care about the law, about justice, but about politics, the day our policemen care more about politics than enforcement, fair and legitimate enforcement of the law, then this country is gone. Not just this country, any country. And this is why I want to remind you, <coughs> I know this is a unknown song of John Lava. I want to tell you this. We are at a stage now where from the top, from the highest position, the Prime Minister, down to, uh, to the other subordinates, they don't care about breaching the law. They don't care. And this is, and this happens during Marcos' time in the Philippines. And this happens during uh, Suhan first time, this happens in all these regimes. You know. Now, will they succeed? That is, I want to answer my friend's question. What, what do we do? What do we do? I think they will succeed if you are right. If the Raya Qatar are up for Raya, you know, at least we get some money into the election. <laughs> 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 You see, if you don't think this is wrong, if people are not offended by this abuse, then nothing will change. But I, I am, you know, I am an optimist. I am an optimist. I believe John Barrow will fall to the opposition, if you look at I believe that justice is something every decent human being knows what it is. You can be a Muslim, a Hindu, a Catholic, or whatever. We know what is right. We know what is just. If you cannot do justice, if you don't believe in it, if you think that it's okay to be unjust because I want to protect my own group, then you end up not protecting your own group because you don't know what is just. And this is something you have to remember. If you protect your own kind, your own clan, your own group, your own religion, your own community, and you think you are being fair, you are not. If you have no capacity for justice for everyone in this country, you have no capacity for justice. That is the